Hello, this is a, uh, a project I worked on a couple days ago. This is a uh, 3733 Lasco variant fan I pulled out of the garbage. This particular one's from 2011. It's all peed up and stuff. The guard's been chopped up. Now what I did here is I made it reversible and put a switch in it. Sorry for the crude cut there, um, but yeah. The only thing I had to cut that was a Dremel tool. So this one had the usual blown thermal fuse for no, re oh, for no real reason. Other than it got a little warm, but you see there, it's, it's just got a normal 3733 motor in there. But I added the wire there for the switch, of course. Now it's, I should probably, uh, disclose that you should probably not do this and I in fact I don't really recommend that you run the fan like this in reverse because uh, well you'll see here in a, you'll see here in a minute although I have ran this fan for about an hour with no issue However, if you do decide to take this project upon yourself, do so at your own uh, at your own risk. Um, although you should be, you should probably you probably be okay as long as the thermal fuse does its job and blows, which it probably will. So, so I'm gonna put it in forward. You can see runs forward and the uh, speeds are normal just like you expect turn it off flip the switch and uh, there it goes reverse But, there's a catch. Yeah. That's why I wouldn't run it like that. The reason I wouldn't run it like that is uh, because of uh, the possibility that that these two winding that uh, speed two and speed one in reverse might not be able to uh, handle the load as well as uh, in normal mode because they're there's probably less turns on those two speeds there and you're just running it through there so I'd be uh, I'd be worried about that possibly burning up the motor or at least getting it very hot I, I doubt it would actually burn it out because these thermal fuses in these fans are very very weak very temperamental but it does work, proof of concept. I was looking up information on reversing a PSC motor because uh, I have a, a motor for another project that was PSC that I wanted to use for another uh, that I wanted to use for another fan, but it ran in the wrong direction, so I looked up. Uh, so I found a video of how, of how, uh, basically how a PSC motor works. 
and how it's wired up and I found out and uh, it showed me how to uh, reverse it so I applied that to this and that's why uh, that's why this is the way that it is I thought it was neat I've never seen it done to, a, to one of those before makes it a little more interesting you know because these are kind of boring otherwise so anyways uh, here's what I did I have another motor here I also did that with put a switch on it the leads going inside of there running through the capacitor hole there I'm gonna find that I know some of you guys are going to be terrified by the idea of somebody using zip ties in a motor, but this is factory. This is factory on these Lascos. They use zip ties. And I don't think there are any kind of special high temp zip tie or anything. These will crack. These will, uh, these will break down and crack over time. So anyways, um, uh, what you're looking for is your capacitor leads here going to the motor and essentially each of these leads goes to a different winding in the motor um, because there really is no start winding in one of these it's just a wind you have a winding in one phase and a winding for another phase or a, a, a winding in one polarity and a winding in another polarity in terms of a, you know the magnetism and whatnot hard for me to explain because I, I'm I'm learning this I'm learning this as I go along but anyways uh, you want to get inside of here this is kind of a sacrificial motor, but I, I will be using this motor for something else at some point. So you take out those zip ties right there. And uh, if you want to replace your thermal fuse, well, it's right there. It's inside of this little uh, fiberglass sleeve right here. That's your thermal fuse if you had to replace it. And essentially all that uh, that fuse just goes through this black lead right here. This is your common. This black lead right here is your common. It's the wire next to that, that's your high speed, medium speed, low speed respectively. On a Lasco fan motor. Any, any Lasco fan motor. So... So you don't need to mess with this connection. This this is uh, this is from your common to your thermal fuse. What you need is the two capacitor leads. So you can see there, each of them has a has a winding coming off, and you can see that this is hooked up to the common through the thermal fuse. This one. All you have to do to reverse it is take your common lead. You don't touch you don't touch the the leads of the capacitor or the uh, or the uh, winding leads at all. You just take your common from this lead and move it to this one. Uh, not not that one, but this one right there. It's weird seeing through the camera. <laughs> But yeah, you want to take your common, put it, move it to this one, and then you get reverse. That's all you got to do. And I've replaced thousands, maybe not thousands, but definitely hundreds of uh, Lasco box fan thermal fuses. I've done so many of them. It, become pretty efficient at doing it 
because they blow all the time and there's nothing wrong with the motors they draw perfect they draw within spec they just either get a little dirty or the the fuses themselves are just either shit qual either crap quality or or they uh or they turn the fan off and then put it in storage immediately after with no cooling over the motor. And then it just heat soaks. I reckon that's how most of these go. Is they just, they get turned off when they're very hot. And uh, they just heat soak. Anyways, uh... So yeah, that's that's how that's done. That's how that's how I did that. Basi basically, uh, how I wired the switch in was, uh, yeah, I've just got a two-position, three-lead switch. And that middle, that middle wire there is connected to the common. It's connected to the to the uh, thermal fuse here. And then the other two leads are connected to these two. That's it. It's pretty simple wiring. Basically, basically what it does is it is it, uh, it it shifts it shifts the phase so that it runs in reverse, something like that. So yeah, that's that's what I did there. And so I got reversible thirty-seven thirty-three. That's it for me. Thanks for watching.